Just a quick interruption to announce a huge giveaway. Tall Timber Productions and our partners are super excited to give away a $2,400 package to one lucky winner. All you need to do to be entered is subscribe to the Tall Timber Productions YouTube channel and leave a comment on one of the Elk Obsession YouTube videos. Check the link in the video description for additional entry options. The winner will be announced in spring of 2024 following the conclusion of the Elk Obsession YouTube series. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. So it's day three. We're up in the same area that we were yesterday. We're going to kind of just creep our way up here. Um, we know there's a lot of bulls in here, um, oh, a lot of six points. So I think if we can get the opportunity within range, yesterday that really nice bull, um, he was just about 10 yards outside my range. So if we can get him to come in, in range, I think any six point is going to be in trouble. In trouble. So um, we're excited. Hopefully it's just as active today as it was yesterday. Yeah, I'm uh, super proud of Michelle because that was all of a 340 bull and it was six yards outside her effective range. And um, it's pretty tempting to just hold your pin, you know, up over his back and let her fly. And she held off a um, beautiful bull like that and she wanted to make it count. So. Uh, we just got to keep working, get one inside of 42 yards, and, and we're going to make it happen. So hopefully they're, uh, they're willing to respond and come in like they were yesterday. But either way, we're going to get here and get after them all day. So it's go time.
guys just saw that stud of a herd bull. Um, I think we had a great chance at him. He was fired up. I was raking. He was bugling instantly. Um, he, the, the herd actually started moving our way, but we set up with the wind on our right cheek going down the hill, and he was straight across from us. And his cows, we didn't realize it, but his cows were stretched all down below us. So when everyone started coming, they got downwind, and I think that's why he shut down pretty quick and they moved off. But um, I was telling Michelle that is like a bull of a lifetime. But I think with that encounter, we got to give him some time. And uh, I think it is the same herd we were on yesterday. So they're probably going to stay up in this pocket. We're going to leave them alone. And we're going to go over towards where we got into the three other bulls yesterday. We're going to try to loop down below, get our wind right, and just call into that area. Try to get another encounter before it gets too hot. So, um, yeah, off to a good start, though. Let's go. crazy morning we're getting a lot of responses but it's just the two I, a couple of the herd bulls in the area I think so um, as soon as we get close and try to put some pressure on them, they're just moving and moving and moving so we've probably done four or five miles already just chasing two bulls and um, this last this last one we just let him kind of move off because we had put a bunch of pressure on him he got way out in front of us so um, we're in a really good area it's 9 45 we're gonna sit down and have a snack, relax for a little bit, and uh, kind of make a plan for midday here and in this evening. So. sound off again on his own we we'll try to get as close as possible and rile him up a little bit so go time
It is day seven and it's been really slow. We had a thunderstorm come in yesterday. Um, so the elk shut down really bad. Um, and then we had tons of rain and wind and lightning last night too. So we're crossing our fingers. It's not gonna be the same, but they've been hunkered down for a long time and they'll be ready to get up and move around and talk. And so we're gonna let out a couple of bugles and just kind of see where the day leads us. So cross our fingers. <laughs>
guys yet another bull inside of 60 yards but we've just uh, we've had the worst luck in where they want to come in and kind of how they're arcing once they decide to come our way and it's just we're getting caught in that 60 yard range and getting them to come by at 45 or less has been impossible so far um, but it was good to get on another bull. It was a nice six point and Michelle had her ranges dialed. Uh, he just arced at 60 yards and came a little closer up in the thick brush. But by that time he was just catching our wind and um, before he spooked and left. But yeah, it just shows that um, all it takes is one bull. We move in, we do a couple, couple things right and we can get this thing done. So hopefully we have one of those coming in the, in the uh, rest of the day today or tomorrow. So coming really down to the wire here um, although it's fun yeah we only have a day and a half left of the season season ends tomorrow um, and we just got to find another hot bull there the good news is they are willing to talk and when we put some pressure on them they're they're coming in we're just getting caught in some of these open areas um, we're trying to be aggressive and push forward and just getting caught in some places that aren't the best areas to set up but by that time we have no choice so Hopefully we can figure it out. And uh, yeah, Michelle can launch an arrow <laughs> through, two, uh, through a pair of longs here soon, so. That's the plan. Yeah, go get another one. Let's do it. And we had a pretty um, slow night, so we didn't see or hear an elk. Uh, so we had that good call in, good encounter this morning. We jumped into a new area, which might have been a mistake this late in the hunt, but we thought, you know, there might have been some elk up here, but there wasn't. So uh, we worked hard through the area, and now we got to make a little bit of a drive to take Alex back to the airport. Um, he's going to head home, and Michelle and I are going to hit it hard tomorrow um, all day for the last day of the season. And fortunately, we have some good weather coming. So, um, yeah, we're hopeful that, you know, the last day might be the time to get it done. So we'll see. We're getting close. It's a great hunt, but yeah, we're excited to just hit it hard tomorrow. And that way, whether we get one or not, we can know that we busted our butts and, and hunted hard the whole time. So.
her second shot and he went back up the hill. He was totally fine. Um, didn't see any blood on him. We're going to obviously do our due diligence, but we're going to be quiet because there's still a couple bulls up here. And um, Alex, the cameraman, had to leave, so I'm running camera by myself. So I didn't get much of that because it was run and gun, but just wanted to give everyone an update. All right, guys, um, we just finished the last day of the early season in New Mexico. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, um, we were just chasing Jake. Yep. Yeah. So we are about 15 minutes left at daylight and we're walking up um, to where our trail is and just bullets on a chuckle. And um, so we snuck up here, couldn't lay eyes on him. He didn't talk again until just now. Um, but unfortunately we are going to be going home with tag soup um but the best experience that any of us could have asked for we saw big bulls um this morning we were in a rut fest and uh yeah it was just just awesome so unfortunately we're not going home with one but it's uh good memories in the book all righty that's a wrap for new mexico um Coming up next for Elk Obsession, you guys should see some of uh, Kyle's Wyoming hunt. So good things to come and it's only September 14th, so a lot of hunting left to go. What plan are we trying to figure out right now? Well, because it's the day before the end of the season, I thought for sure we'd be tagged out by now. Um, but we are low on fuel for the truck. So we're trying to determine if we can make it back to the closest town to get fuel or not. <laughs> so otherwise we might have to be trying to make some new friends at some of these camps that have these fancy razors. Bar, you know, buy some of their razor gas. But um, yeah, that's, the, uh, that's what we're trying to figure out here.